Is it done on Twitter now? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Let, let me just make sure I'm on Twitter. Yes, it's working. Just a minute. Twitter. Oh, the Twitter is still on? Yes, it's still on. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, those of you on Twitter, can you see me very clearly? I see you, yes. I see you there. What am I doing now? Because it's a difficulty. Yeah. Okay, I think those of you on Twitter, you can see me. Kishan, are you full of... You're shaking your head. Huh? You're shaking your head. You're okay, you're all right, I'm on. Okay, those of you who follows me on Twitter, you, you, you are able to watch this program on Ustream. You are able also to watch it on Twitter. So I've made it easy for, for everyone. So you can be watching me live on Twitter. You can also be watching me live on Ustream. So if you follow me on on uh, on Twitter, you're on. You're watching it live right now. Now let's go straight to what we have to. We have to cover some few things tonight and do it really, really quickly. See, thank you for following me on Twitter. So if you want to watch the if you want to watch my programs live on Twitter, all you need to do is to follow me on Twitter, and that is it. And whenever I am on, you will be uh, you'll be you'll be watching you'll be watching uh, you'll be watching the program live on Twitter. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, there will be just a few delay on the way it is, but it is nice. It is very nice. You need to you need to be using that. Okay, let's continue about this wind, which we are finishing today. Um, this is the wind of God that relocates people and reassigned uh, and reassigned them. It moves people and give. Uh, it moves people who are not supposed to be, uh, people who have decided to take your place. Who decided to take from you what does not belong to them um oh excuse me please we have something going on here just one second there's something that is not working fine let's make sure we got it okay i think it's fine now yeah my hand was not showing on ustream okay there are people who have sworn that they will make sure that you never arrive at your destiny. When the wind of God moves on your behalf, it moves those people away from where they are currently sitting and violating your right. So the wind normally moves them away so that you can move into your position. Normally when God wants to do something big, he will move people, he will move people away so that you can occupy the position you were supposed to occupy or replace them. Hallelujah. Just a minute, please. Hallelujah. Let's see the next thing, what it does. 
apart from relocating people. Not only that, let me also explain this so that you know exactly what the prophecy is saying. People of God, we are dealing with a prophecy about the new Pentecost, about the new wind that is coming. And this wind comes from several sides to deal with human history in our generation and after our generation. God is willing to relocate you if you are willing to be relocated. God is willing to move you to the right place where you should be. That's what this wind will do. And before God relocates you, reassigns you, he will have to reshovel people, move people around, remove people so that you can enter into your place of assignment. There is a place of assignment for you. There is a place of prosperity for you. People of God, there is a job for you on the earth that only you alone can do that job. Nobody else. Please, if you are just joining, I want you to be aware that I'm also broadcasting on Twitter. So if you follow Idikai Mary on Twitter, you'll be watching this program live. So you can watch me on Twitter if you follow me, or you can watch it on Ustream whether you're following me or not. The desire of the Almighty is to send the wind of Pentecost to carry you to your place of assignment. Your prayer should be, Lord, I am willing to enter into my place of assignment. I am willing to enter into your place of assignment so that I can carry out your plan for my destiny. And that is the reason why when you are in your place of prosperity, your place of health, it's not everywhere where you should live. There are places where you go, demons will attack you, people will harass you, embarrass you, and deal with you so bad that you become sick. So everywhere is not a place of health. And everywhere is not a place of prosperity. Everywhere is not a place of peace. That's why you have to pray and be willing and say, wind of the living Jesus, move me to my place of grace and peace and prosperity and protection. Move me to those places. I'm willing to stay there. No matter what anybody tell me, I'm not going to leave. See, people will try to talk you to move to a new place. Your job is to make sure you do not move away from where the wind is for you. The wind of God is not everywhere. The wind is in a particular place for you. And that is why many people are struggling where they are today. Because the wind is not there. The wind is somewhere else. It's like the disciples were, uh, of Jesus were fishing. Peter and his colleagues were fishing where there was no fish. Until Jesus told them to fish the other side. That's where the fish are. That's why you need the wind to be an eye for you. So that you will be where the fish is, where your food is, where your peace and prosperity is, where you are the authority in that place. Why are you trying to be in a place where everybody are? Everybody is looking for the same thing. Everybody are, are in charge. No, you have to be in a place where you are authority. You have to be in a place where the territory of that place has been given to you so that nobody will struggle for that territory with you. Same thing with a career. Don't try to get a job because everybody is trying to get that job. There is money in that job. Make sure it has to do with is attached to your lifelong destiny. So that you become an authority in your field of talents 
and giftedness. Without the without this wind, without this wind, marriages are fraudulent. Are you hearing it? Without this wind directing you, marriages are filled with fraudulences. You'll be in a fraudulent marriage. In a marriage that is full of deceits. Deception. Manipulation. Lies. And death will be waiting for you or divorce. Whatever. Without the wind, marriages will be filled with fraudulence. And also it will be filled with uh, pure forgery. Ending. Ending in commotion. These are not my words. These are what pours out of me. Without the wind, marriages you'll be entering into marriages which are fraudulent, filled with forgery, ending in commotion, which you know is true. Fraudulent, pure forgery, ending in commotion. You guys know that God is telling the truth when he gave us this prophecy. So without the wind, marriages will be full of, will be fraudulent, full of pure forgery and ending in commotion. And this is true. And not only that, he ended up by saying it will collapse. Let's keep going. It will collapse. There will be a lot of, um, uh, what did he call it? It will, there will be a lot, it will collapse. There will be a lot of, the, when it collapses, there will be a lot of disappointments and not only disappointments and war. So it, marriages will be full of fraudulency, pure forgery. What again did he say there? That's why I need to depend on this. Pure forgery um, and ending in commotion. Ending in commotion. It will collapse, it will be full of disappointments, and it will end in war. Marriage will become warfare. The wind of God knows where your prosperity is. I've already said that. So now I'm reading, I'm reading the prophecy as it was given to me. Marital prosperity, financial prosperity, financial Prosperity anywhere you can think about it. People of God, there are some places where you go to, you'll be sick all throughout your life. I lived, I lived in a particular state. People of God, listen to this. Yeah, I live in a particular state and I was always sick. There was no week that I was not sick in that state. Was always sick. Always sick. Always sick. And God told me, move away. When I move away, the very day I entered the plane to where I was supposed to be, the sickness fled from me. That's how this thing works. Every way is not for your health. Please, I want you to, I want you to be aware of that. Every way is not for your progress. Let's, let's keep digging this in. This is the wind that will match you. So if you are trying to go online to date people, to find the joy, uh, to find happiness. I, I can't use the word joy. Joy is too big for this earth. If you are trying, if you are trying to find friends, partners, date people, marry people online or by calling an 800 number or something sometimes 99 and a half percent of what you are trying to do will end up in the kind of marriage he's talking about fraudulency pure 
forgery, it will collapse, full of disappointments and warfare. But remember, everyone who is coming online to look for somebody is already prepared to tell you who they are not. Hmm. They are already, you are already prepared for what they want to do against you. So you better be ready for that. That is why this wind, excuse me, let me make sure nothing is boring now. That is why this wind will match you so that you will not be disappointed. This wind of God will match you to the right person, the right place, at the right time. It is better than match.com, eHarmony, on all kind of Christian dating sites. The wind is a better match maker. People of God, they've never been anybody that I have found a husband or a wife for that their marriage is not still standing till today. Never had any problem. It's been romantic, blissful. Or if they found themselves and their marriage was about to collapse, they called me before they started the conflict. I have 100% percent, percent testimony, testimonials of Jesus using me, of the Holy Ghost using me to fix marriages. This is true. God is my witness. Everyone that I've waited, I conducted your wedding ceremony for your marriage. That marriage normally stays till both of you are called home or Jesus return. That has been the way it is. I'm very, I'm very good in that. If I tell you to walk away from a marriage, walk away. If I tell you not to befriend somebody, if I tell you that relationship is not for you, listen to me. There is somebody that lives in me that sees what you cannot see, hears what you cannot hear. When I ask you not to leave your job, return back to your job, stay in your job, someone lives in me that sees what is beyond you, that can hear what people are saying at your job about you, that can think far more ahead than you know. So this wind is a matchmaker. I don't know when, I don't know when a C of Canada will, will, will set me up to have my own dating site so that we will do the right thing since she's into the fashion thing. I don't know when uh, Mama also is into the fashion business and into cosmetics and all kind of beautician things. I don't know when what these women are waiting for. Other people are making money from all these dating sites. Why are you guys not setting up your son, Idika Mary, to, to gain from this business? Look at Mama Maria. They are all looking at me and waiting for me to set it up. Somebody should, should help me. Let's set up a, a real Christian dating site. Vadim, now you are quiet. You are not talking. <laughs> Christine, are you on the line tonight? You are not talking. It's people like that. They, all this. Yeah. Why? 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 Why haven't you had? Why haven't you had your father in the Lord to set up the real Christian dating site? What's What's wrong with you, hot woman? I will. Okay. Thank you. Holy Ghost, did you hear that? I heard it myself. We need to set up real dating sites that will be the real thing. That I will be the authority that will vet everything. Seriously. Can I be the first customer? Ah, oh, you already, you already. If if that is V, if that is Victoria of California, you already have a husband. <laughs> Even though I know you don't like him, I know you don't like him. I know any, I know any day you will tell him, bye, see you. 
I know it. <laughs> because nobody treats my daughters wrongly and get away with it. <laughs> Excuse me. So we, we need the real thing. We need the real thing that works. Yes. It matches you to the right people, the right time, right place. And you, the wind of God does not make a mistake. That's why when Sarah became Abraham's wife, she matches him, he matches her. Rebecca chose Isaac, they matched. See? The only thing I continue to say is that if you are poor, make sure you don't marry. Two poor people should never get married. That's my teaching. Please. That's my law. If you are poor and he's poor, don't marry. It's not good. Except God decide to intervene supernaturally on the earth on behalf of two of you and one of you become wealthy. Marriage is always you marry into wealth. You don't marry into poverty. In throughout the Bible, you never see anybody marrying into poverty where that man, woman, no, never happens. So no matter how much, how much good the man is in bed or how much good the woman is in bed, don't go, don't go there. Please do not. No matter how good they are with the gift of God, they can talk. Don't go there. Don't go there. You need food afterward. You need clothing. You need to look good. You need gas in your car. You need rent to be paid. So it's not. Talk is cheap. Coming together is one thing. Staying together is a different ballgame. Not many people have the patience for marriage. Marriage is a full time job. Hmm. This is what the wind will do. It will make you, um, excuse me, it will make you to be accepted by the same people who abandon you, and it will prosper, it will prosper you where there was nothing for you. When the wind of God come to visit you and rise it up for you, it will make those who abandon you and mock you to come to you and kneel before you. That's what happened to Joseph. His brother that mocked him, sold him, they came and knelt before him. The wind is going to move in human history. Events will happen. There will be an event that will happen in human history that will lead to it will certainly lead to those who mocked you abandoned you threw you away never wanted you things will happen that the wind will elevate you and those who did not think good of you will change their mind about you it's like i am today nobody sees the kind of gospel that i'm ministering to and the power that follows this gospel who, oh, if they look at me back, will never believe. That's what this wind. When this wind come upon you, it changes you into totally a different person. That's what God is saying He's going to do. He's going to change you into a different person. He's going to relocate you, reassign you. He's going to match you with the right person. That's what God has been saying to you. That's what this wind is coming to do in your life. You are going to be relocated. He is going to change you. The wind is going to change you and you will become a different person. When this wind came upon David, the Bible says he became a different person. When this wind came upon Saul, the first king of Israel, he became a different person. It's always that the wind comes when the anointing comes. When the wind comes, the anointing comes. And God is saying, when, with the coming of the wind, will also be the coming of the anointing, will also be the coming of power. Authority in your life. Amen. 
God says, I am going to change you. You will be completely changed. This wind will turn your heart around. Your mind will be changed. You will begin to think differently. Yes. You used to count in nickels and dime, you'll be counting in hundred. From hundred, you'll count in thousands. From thousands, you count in millions, and on you go. That's what the wind does. Yeah. God said I should tell you, yeah. every man that, and every woman that has been coming to your life, they will forgery. But from now on, the right person will come. Yeah. Yeah. And come to stay. Not come to hang around. But come to stay, come to work. Come to be responsible. Not just come to play, but come to work. Many people are just looking for a way to play. But God said, no, I'm not sending you somebody who is just coming to play and to eat. I'm sending you somebody who is coming to be responsible. To play a part in your future and in your today. Where there was nothing, when the wind comes, something will be found for you in that same place. Where you were doing nothing, there was no job. When the wind comes for you, God said the wind is coming for you. And job will arise out of the bowel of the earth for you. Or through you, he will create one. Amen, amen, amen. It is the wind that makes every other wind that has risen up against you to bow. They are winds, thunderstorms, storms of life that has risen up against you. All your life, you've been battling with the waves of the sea in your life. Everywhere you turn to, problem. Everywhere you turn to, palava. Doris, are you on tonight with me, madam? Okay, she's not there. I don't know whether Aikwa is there. Okay, they are not there. The Nigerian people are not there. The Nigerian people are not listening tonight. They are their jobs. They love to work. That's what we are talking about. Every palava, palava means all sort of trouble plus problem if you add it together. See, when you add trouble plus problem, it becomes problem. <laughs> all kinds of problems that rose up against you as a mighty wind trying to carry you away to hell. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord, I will make sure that every wind I did not send, my wind will subdue them, conquer them, overpower them, and stop them. Amen, amen, amen. Let's stop here. Hallelujah. 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 Just a minute. 